facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? A whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been... Uh... How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, shit. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume? You had escaped from some homicidal circus. Why didn't you say anything? Well, the colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't get our influence. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me. I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of the Colonial Right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded. And reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. Tears of King Louis. Either. Though I suspect the king's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. I know Murphy is in the French king's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. has the helm. Loose all and trim sharp to the wind. Full sails! Well, the anchors on board and our rags are all set. Oh, right. Long course to hit rock, sir. Oh, 
Came Liverpool Julies will never forget. Some cargo from a wreck over here, sir. Douse the royals and tufts! a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here. In case Johnson arrives, I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe... I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late.
From the shadows. Master Cormac. Sir. We must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, would you say? Perhaps. Take out as many as I can. moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will leave my men around soon.
Hurry. Segawase will not relent. Segawase? You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin. As I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. Come, follow me. Uh. Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Say! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there.
Get the main cells into the wind! All sails shall take it! Floating cargo for the taking, sir. The wind. He's over there. Captain Cormac has the wheel. Anchor. Captain has the helm. Away, anchor. Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. 
But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel, the manuscript, why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir, I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to Storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kasegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. How much lumber do we have to build this? Sir, well, not to pry, but would you happen to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you, then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army. Part of it, anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Kesegawase. Kesegawase has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster. Captain's taking a cold bath! <laughs> Oh. Uh. 
Tu ne nous tiendras pas Tu es déjà mort Attaquez-le de flanc La merde Arrêtez-le Vite when he found my dagger protruding through his tunic. It's a pity we have not gotten paid in so long. So I told the Frenchman. I could have I used some your company sister tonight. in New York. I'm going to drink myself his go red. Then we I sure killed those dogs who the true masters were. So I told the Frenchman. <sighs>